Hey there, welcome back to another Permaslug episode. My name is Jonathan, and today we're gonna get organized inside of WordPress. So utilizing Happy Files, which is basically a content organization system for the backend of WordPress, you can create folders to organize media libraries and with the pro version, any other post type across your site, which is super cool. It also has a gallery component, so you can basically show any image in your media library utilizing the categories that you create and it's dynamic. So if you edit something in that folder, add something new or delete it, then on the front end, that gallery is going to reflect that for you. So just quickly before we get started, the website is happyfiles.io. This is made by Thomas, who also is the Bricks Builder developer. So uh, pretty interesting. I'm not gonna go through the homepage because of course you can do that, not a whole lot of point there, but this is the website. And of course, when you have the plugin installed, visit your media library and you can find immediately there's this new kind of sidebar over here on the left hand side. First of all, you can resize this sidebar, which is neat. And then you can of course completely collapse it as well if you wanna do that. But the idea here is that we are gonna go ahead and create some categories. So you can call these whatever you want. They're completely flexible and you can rename them later. So let's just make up a few. I'm gonna call one travel and then let's call one like boats or something because I have a couple of images in here that have kind of a water theme to them. And then let's call another one outdoors maybe. And um, then let's just call one food. Now what's cool about this is these folders can nest. So you can have food underneath travel for instance. So you can get pretty organized with your content here, especially as your site starts to get bigger. That's really where I think this is going to excel is for sites that have just a mammoth amount of content. For me, I wanna be really organized and get to things quickly, not have to rely on the search function, which I'm sure you probably know as well as I do, is not always super reliable. So what I'm going to do now is essentially just go to bulk select here, and then let's pop some stuff in the travel field. So let's take these pictures of like some buildings, maybe this roadway here, uh, and then I'll just grab a couple more. And we can just take these and drag them right inside the travel folder. So you can see I have seven images selected and it says move seven media. So now it's organized. I'm still in my all files category. So let's switch over to uncategorize. And then let's stick some stuff in the food option. So I'm just gonna pick out these last couple of images, stick those in food. Then let's go pick out a couple of like the boats here, the water option. So we'll stick that in boat. And then we're just gonna do everything else in outdoors. So I'll just shift click to select all of those and stick that in outdoors. So now I have nothing that's uncategorized. And if I go to these folders, then of course I can see the images that are inside of them. Now, if I right click on these folders, I can create another category, or as you saw, I can rename and delete it. Deleting the category doesn't delete the content inside of it. So as you can see, it says, you know, your files are safe, just deletes that media category. And then if we go back to the all files option, once you have a lot of stuff in here, it may not be clear what's where. So what you can do is go ahead and right click on an element and it tells you what category it's in. So that image there is in outdoors. I can click that and then it takes me straight to that category, which is great. Now I mentioned being able to create a gallery out of this stuff, which we'll do in a little bit, but we need to go actually into our happy file settings real quick and let's take a look. So as I mentioned, you can turn this organization on for other post types across your site. We're gonna go look at pages in just a minute and then you can even do it for like your oxygen templates or a custom post type if you have that, which is great. You can also choose what user account types have the ability to, as you can see, create, rename, delete, arrange, upload, etc. So if you want it to only be, you know, a certain set of user access types, you can do that or just leave it to administrator by not changing anything at all. We can assign multiple categories to a given image or, you know, page. All you gotta do is just turn that on, but by default, it only lets you organize it into one category. The only other thing really that is worth mentioning is show ID on hover. So I am going to go ahead and save that. So if we go back over here to our media library, if I hover over the category, then you can see it now displays that category ID, which is gonna be useful for when we set up that gallery short code later on. You can rename these categories. So if I renamed it travel to like trips, then the name changes, but the ID does not. That's important because using the gallery short code, if you were to put the category ID of trips in there and then switch it to travel, for instance, then your gallery is gonna be broken. But if you use the ID instead, it's not going to break. So that's really cool. But I think for me, the media library is, you know, one facet of it that's neat, but also more interesting is the pages as well. So when you start to get a lot of pages across your site, it can be cumbersome to really figure out where you're at. You know, sometimes you have duplicated pages and the search is not always super reliable. So 
I have created a number of pages on this site here. You would have, you know, some nested pages like services and why us. So I'm going to create some categories and organize this stuff. So I'm going to create one called e-commerce. I'm going to create another one called services. We'll create one called why us. And then let's create one called just like general maybe. Now what's really cool is if you if you select a folder and then go out to say like your settings or a different page and then you come back to your pages section, whatever folder you last selected is going to be there automatically selected for you. So that's really nice. If you have one that's you know common, you want to be in your general tab for instance, you just simply click that. And when you come back, you'll still be on your general tab. So let's go over to uncategorized and just categorize some of this stuff. So we're going to go to our services. I'm just going to select all of these. And then, oh, not shop, actually. We're gonna just take our services and dump that right here. And it looks like I missed a nested page here under services, so I'm gonna drop that guy in. And then for e-commerce, we have shop, my account. We're gonna do checkout, cart, buy now, and stick that into e-commerce. Then for our why us, we're going to do this right here, stick that in there. And it looks like I missed another service. So I'm gonna pop that guy in. And then we're just gonna stick these in the general category. So now of course you can still go to your all pages section and see everything as it was. But if you know exactly where you wanna be, like homepage for instance, you can just go right there. To demonstrate my point earlier of it maintaining the folder that you last selected, we'll just switch over here to settings and then we'll go back to pages. And you can see I have general selected, which is perfect. This I think is really ideal for me because on typical websites, you know, maybe there's two or three pages that you're organizing and editing most often. So you might stick them in the same folder. And then if there's less commonly accessed pages, you might stick them in a different folder like that. So this interface is going to feel very similar. Like if I go over here to my oxygen templates, then of course I could create multiple categories for my templates and organize those. This would be really helpful because I do have situations from time to time where a template is, let's say, inactive, it still exists, and for some reason I want to keep it, but I don't want it to be cluttering up my main screen, I could create a folder called inactive and just stick it in there so it's sort of hidden and out of the way. So let's go ahead and take a look at the short code as well. So what I'm going to do is on the home page here, I'm just going to go to the shortcut of FAQs, and then if you look at how do I create a gallery, this is the short code with all of the options. So the short code does have a light box in it, which is pretty cool. And obviously you have all of these other parameters. So we're gonna go over to our pages. I already have my general folder selected, which is pretty neat. And we'll go to our home page and edit that with oxygen. All right, so inside of a section, I'm just gonna stick a short code element in. And I already wrote down a short code that I know works. So I'm just gonna paste this in real quick. And if we go to categories two and four, apparently my IDs are messed up here. So let's actually go back to our admin panel. This is a perfect demonstration. So we're gonna go to media. And let's go with trips, which is ID 10, and then we'll go with boats, which is ID 11. So we're just gonna change our IDs to 10 and 11 like that. And there is the images, which is great. So if I save this, and then let's look on the front end, I click an image and we have a light box that feels very similar to the oxygen gallery element. And like I said, this is dynamic. So this is very similar to like an ACF gallery, editable on the back end. Any changes you make there, adding or deleting photos, then is reflected on the front end, which is cool. So this is an alternative for the ACF gallery, but in my opinion, this is almost easier to edit for a client than an ACF gallery. Um, the other thing is that if you're in a category here in the back end and you upload photos, it goes straight into that category and automatically, you know, sorts it for you, which is super cool. So if you're someone like me that really digs organization and especially in the case of larger websites, you want to kind of get a handle and clean things up, then I think this is a great plugin for you to look at. Again, it's called Happy Files and you can check out the link in the description below if you're interested. Before we wrap up, I wanted to mention I really appreciate all the support from every single one of you watching lately. And if you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. It does help me tremendously and I greatly appreciate it. Hopefully you enjoyed this plugin tour. It's an exciting thing for me. I'm definitely using this. I've already installed it on a number of sites of my own. So as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in a future video.